the Mulberry Layton. If you come to this video, then you're probably looking for a review on this. And that is what I'm going to give you. Um, but first I'm going to introduce myself because i got to get used to introducing myself. If you just watched the Bayswater review and the car review, then I'm probably going to repeat myself three times now. But please just bear with me because we get a lot of uh, new views, new viewers, etc. to each video based on obviously what they're looking for a review of. Um, so we are BS. We have a luxury retail resale shop in Somerset. Easy for you Shep to say. <laughs> Shep to Mallet, um, UK. We're currently in a UK lockdown, thanks to Mr. Boris. And so our shop can't open because it's not essential. Only supermarkets can for our American viewers. It's like living in a world full of CVSs and targets. Which would but, be okay. But less fun. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, but we don't have that much fun here. No. I mean, it was like they got way more decor in Target than we do in Tesco's. Yep. Anyway, um, we are two man team, woman and ma. Woman and man. I'm Bethany, and Austin's behind the camera today because he's not feeling his beautiful self. Um, but you will see him feature. That's actually on... not why. It's just we decided to do it this way. How rude! <laughs> you will see him on other videos talking about men's, talking about women's. We don't discriminate. We talk about everything. And if you wonder what I look like, go check another video. Yeah. We have over a hundred right now in our in our channel. Go and check okay. something else. Um, we're obviously British, so we do have a little bit of British like banter conversation between us um, over the camera. Um, I know some of our American friends. Um, we love you very much but um, wanted more technical um, uh, about the bag as opposed Third to- time she said this today. I'm sorry, I, I just want everyone to get the message um, and I'm catering for you, um, but we will not stop our banter over the camera because that's just how we work. That's how the people work different ways. If you're looking for someone to sit in front of a camera with a Birkin and a beautiful face of makeup, just not me today. I will not change for you. <laughs> Just playing. <laughs> that was really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> so today is the Mulberry Layton. Obviously a new, newer design uh, from Mulberry. Uh, discontinued now, like everything in the world. Um, they do discontinue a lot. I'm not sure if it's fully discontinued, but it, the, the process is beginning. Um, I don't know if you can pick them up in John Lewis. You, you, you won't know. be able to buy this bag in like a year and a half, two years time. This, this particular colorway, which I believe is sunflower. However, if I'm wrong, I will... Um, correct myself yeah. um, but I believe it is sunflower I bought it second hand but they are sitting in the outlets currently in this colour um, I know for sure Cheshire Rokes have got it and I know for sure Mol uh, Shepson Mallet have got it do we it. know what they were price wise? Uh, they were reduced down to 555 Okay, fair. roughly don't at me but last time I looked 555 roughly around there that's such an outlet price yeah I, I know um, that's a whole other story Darius went down to out 555 do you remember they were like <laughs> weird prices Sorry. 315 yeah so um, this is the latent I believe this is the smallest size yeah it's definitely um, it's definitely not the largest <laughs> let's put it that way no but I don't know if it's a regular but I think it's the smallest like the, I agree. they don't do a mini obviously but they do the problem is with mulberry at the moment love them can't hate them or only anything but love just love all love um they do so many weird sizes micro yeah. small mini, mini yeah, large giant J just the terminology of them is getting annoying yeah so i don't know if this is the smallest i believe it is this the isn't the large one that's for sure if they bought out a mini or a micro then sorry. excuse us um it's the smallest one that i know of insistence um i bought this second hand once again as i mentioned in my other videos it's just one of those days this was a ex staff purchase um, which means technically we'll do another video on it. I'm not going to talk about it for ages and ages and ages, but it was sold at a reduced price to a member of staff. Therefore it's marked inside as with a slash, which means that it is uh, um, as so. And generally with those kind of things, if it was a return, etc., then they take the removable straps. So the long strap has been removed off of this one. However, it comes with two other straps, which I'll mention again. And if you're looking for an extra long strap, then you can re you can strap whatever whatever strap you want onto the rings. Um, so just to clarify, this originally came with three straps: the, sh the shoulder, yeah, the chain, and, the, and a long leather. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, I think it was a long chain. Oh, okay. Uh, get back to you on that. 
Um, I, I wasn't questioning. You were just asking. You know what? I haven't. I've seen these in outlet, and I've looked at them and like felt them different styles. And we went to the Spencer House Runway Show in I think it was 2014, 2015. Uh, no, 17 2000, maybe. 17. It was in like. It's, one been of those a long, it's been a long time, guys. <laughs> it's been a long time. At this point, 2020 seems a long time ago. Um, it was somewhere around there, and they just bought out like the jeweled ones. Um, yeah, so I, I have remember. tried them on, and I have felt them, but I haven't done it in a long time, so I can't remember if the long chain was chain or. Or a leather, but I yeah, think it's I know a chain. what you mean. Um, but I will find out for you. I'm not that person, but my one is missing it. But if I need that function, then I will just add my own. Just another reference this one is not for sale. Um, personal collection. My personal collection to give you a review over the bag if you're thinking about buying. If we ever get one in store, also, I can let you know. You can be added to the wish list. Wish list. Wish Easy list. for you to say. I've been talking for a long time. She has. Yeah. So this one's in sunflower. It's like a burnt yellow. Um, mustardy color but not quite mustard i, I must say com in comparison to your hair just side note it looks more mustardy for sure yeah yeah but it's not really in real life it's quite a deep yellow it's just the fact your hair is more, more kind of neony funny enough i was really after a yellow bag when i found this one um and also side note it reminds me of post malone sunflower so i really like it and i couldn't really get rid of it because it makes me think of him Moving on. <laughs> it's got the design by Johnny Coker, um, one of his collections. Um, obviously, he did lots of different um, colorways, and he did ones with like pearls and studs on, which are also versions. really beautiful. Also, an outlet. Um, you've got the gold uh, leaf embossed logo on the front there. The leather itself is chrome, chrome tanned grain, small grain leather, whatever it is. The classic kind of leather. There's so many leather types now, but it's, it's that one. Um, so the grain is imprinted into the leather. It is not a natural grain. L unlike, um, I won't show you. Unlike a natural vegetarian, le uh, the heritage old natural vegetable tanned leather, which is a more uneven grain because it's natural. Sorry, I will get my words out. Mulberry has so many technical terms and people are asking for them. And I'm like, okay, I can give them to you, but I've got to remember yeah. them and they get them out of my mouth. <laughs> not, not just that. It's, it's kind of it's got a fine line between us going through all the technical stuff we know yeah. and getting really boring. It's like a doctor, or, isn't it? Talking about medicine and it, you exactly. like the anti blah, 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 And, and nobody's like, going to cough. Cyphoprobine, isn't it? Yeah, like, exactly yeah. that. Yeah. It's the same um, thing. Because so we're not doctors, just to kind of so it's the gold brass hardware which was brought in by Johnny. Actually, personally, my favourite hardware that Mongrel ever did, done, have done, will do. Um, but I know a lot of people didn't like it when it first came out because they said it looks cheap. I think it looks more expensive. That's just my personal preference and that really is a preference. Thing Same. That one. Um, it's got the bottom, the uh, feet studs. On this one, they're more like a hexagonal shape as opposed to Mulberry's classic round. Yep. They're very round. <laughs> I'm trying to leave that in. They're very yeah, round. They are. They're very round. Do you know why? I thought they were hexagonal. Because of the bottom of the... They've still got the plastic on. Oh, that's <laughs> what it is. Yeah, them. sorry. <laughs> I was You're right. This and I was like, oh. They Just for everyone plastic. watching, that was a quote. <laughs> I can't even. Okay, moving on. Yeah, but they have the plastic on as... So they feel hexagonal. They're not. They're, they're perfectly round. round. They're not. They're not the same as the heritage ones. Though. They're no, they're not. Own. I think actually, as well, they they stitch around, so I think they're sunk into the leather. Yeah, they are. As opposed to in. stuck on top of. So the feel free to ignore me. Um, these this piping, um, like technique stylized look is really cool. I, I really love like it. it. Agreed. Um, however, because the leather is so tight. It wraps around, this is the problem with other pipe bags, because they wrap the leather so tightly round, it becomes like a, t like a tense spot almost. Yeah, yeah. So it's very prone to wear. So if, if you're, what you're a saying is it's floor pressurized. dweller... Sorry to interrupt you, but yeah. it's pressurized so much that when yeah. it does touch something, it, it's it's overemphasized and yeah. kind of... So this one is slightly... slightly it's for slightly, that. but not very much. Yeah. Um, same with the Freya bag, if anyone um, is interested in the Freya bag, where they tightly like tuck they, the leather they, on the corners, they faded. It looks like a piece of wrapping paper when you when you kind of put pull the collar yeah. around and it gets it gets tense yeah yeah um so obviously this has the exaggerated side pieces you could put a strap onto there but i wouldn't recommend it just because it would wear um you've then got i'll show you turn it to the back 
it's just a plain similar back but you've got the leather short handle which, shoulder yes yeah uh, you could get that on your shoulder but i don't think it would be the desired look okay um you've got the short top handle and then you've got a slightly longer chain handle and i think that would be better for the shoulder Agreed. because it would it give that very 90s like rectangular Feel, do you know what I, I mean? I actually quite like the way that that, 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 that shoulder strap, oh, sorry, not a shoulder strap, but the handle strap sits when you do that leg, leg again. I know, it's... Because it's, I actually feel like that's where you... Where, it doesn't do it now. But, where, yeah, you're there, like that. Like, yeah. where you actually, when you put it over your shoulder, it would fit nicely. Yeah. yeah the whole back sits that way. It's very clever. Yeah. Um, and then you've got... So you've got the fold-in flap um, detail here, which then has the mulberry ambly lock or i didn't they did give it a weird name but i think they're just it's, going ambly now it, it, it's the new postman's lock if you it ask was, them it had a funny name but it had a specific it? Like a name yeah bit weird name um when they first introduced it in our life and you call it ambly lock bags. because that was kind of the first bag they put it on to correct yeah. they also did the same style on the marylebone tote i believe it was marylebone or marlow no marlow they did a few with this lock. but that was discontinued first and i thought that was a real shame because i really like that bag it was the big one, you know? The yeah. One with the body bit. I was thinking the one which looked like, it looked very Kelly, uh, uh, Kelly-esque. Oh, with that's the front a Seton. Of, so, same lock, correct? Mm, yeah. Cool. Um, so, I think they, they originally, and I don't want hate for this, because this is what we got in our training purposes, they originally were going, they wanted to replace the postman's lock. Yeah. They were, well, not replace it, but they wanted to phase it out until it was just like a minor thing, and then this was the on, iconic On a few lock. icons and they heritage just, pieces, it yeah. It would work. Um, so you've got that lock there. See I it? actually really like that lock, to just yeah, say. Yeah, and it's got mulberry etched or embossed into the bottom bit there. Yep, right the bottom, yep. Uh, so it's just a twist turny lock, but I like how large this is. It's more less fiddly than a postman's lock. You can grab it when you're in a rush, pop it off. Yep. It's quite easy. It looks like it shouldn't be. Um, so the inside of the bag, lovely. It's suede, it's suede lined. Yep. Can you see that nicely? Yes, yeah, lovely. And then you've got the two slip compartments in there. You've got the mulberry embossed um, logo in on this side. Yep. And then uh, everything's obviously suede. This is very clean because it's mine. Uh, <laughs> What's quite interesting actually, just as you mentioned it was suede, we did a, a microfiber of a suede yeah, video yeah, yeah. the other day. And I, uh, we mentioned, I think you actually said it, that um, it's a lot easier to match a color match on suede because of its natural yeah. kind of abilities to match the color. That is perfect. It's lovely. Whereas on microfiber, very, I don't think they it's ever a match it perfectly. Yeah. Also, I just mentioned in a previous video, if you ever get... Oh, I don't know if I'm going to rest it. Can you see yeah, that? Yeah, I can see that. There you go. It says it's number one. If you ever get those in any of your bags, that is just where it's been quality checked. So on the last process of Mulberry putting bags into like production into the warehouse, uh, they are quality checked by a team at the factories. Um, and they put their, they have their own little stickers, they have their own little numbers. Their Sometimes it'll be their initials, their line number. And they stick them on and as a floor staff or essays or whatever, they're meant to be removed before they're put onto the shop floor in terms of display. Yep. Um, so the, I think they're meant to be removed when we're, they're processed through our back stock. I, I think a lot of the time they should, be take, yeah, they, should, they should be taken out um, at point of sale, yes. if you will. But um, sometimes they're not. But, but what you're saying is the last video you did, you mentioned the fact that, that that's quite Quite interesting if you see those don't panic or don't no, think no, yeah. it's actually quite interesting to keep them too yeah it looks a bit like um oh oh but they're not they're from they're from quality control and there's reasons for them it's actually a good thing and you'll get a colored one sometimes as well and that relates to the factory whatever um so um in to sum up um obviously it's a newer bag I love it. I mm. think it's really a really practical but fashion um kind of bag it's fun um it, the color the colorways they produce this season as well are really nice um and they're very versatile you can take them from winter to summer um that's a lovely winter bag i'd wear it now with black yes yeah, i agree even with just that. tucked under my arms um the, the leather itself um for anyone who thinks the new leather is more structured this is actually a relatively slouchy bag you can see it's considering the sides of themselves the piping to make it so structured yeah. the actual bits which kind of flap over if you will are, are like paper it's very like hobo-esque very yeah very much um, so. especially if you've got the big size i suspect it would be very hobo-y yeah if that's what you're looking for but it also feels the weight is lovely but not too heavy um it feels very luxurious and i'm obviously just basing my comments off of 
Um, owning the bag, having it here in front of me, touching, feeling, wearing, uh, using. You, you, I was just going to say, just on the using note, you used it quite recently when we were away. Um, how did you find it for the opening cl opening closing? Just because, once again, it's not hugely fiddly, but it's not as easy as maybe an open top bag. No, I think it's really easy. It's much Good. easier than a postman's lock. Like And very secure. Yep. It's, it's quite... The yep. only thing you have to think about where you're putting it in to get it back in... Um, yep. but it's very easy it's yeah, not I mean, to do it without not, looking is, is it's not tricky no. some people thought it was going to be a bit clumsy and i've heard um, that for a lot of people say that they've that's a problem they find with that lock and i don't understand that do you remember when the selwood came out and the selwood you tucked the top into the yes and it really was difficult it was very they, hard they really discontinued that very quickly I saw someone wear one in tesco's the other day and i thought Good for you. Yeah, I remember that's that. That's a tricky bag. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, no, they probably true. put too much money into it. That's probably why. Right. Get the wear out of it. It's true. Um, so I, this is my personal one. Obviously, this is not for sale. Some of our reviews, the bags are for sale because we have this. Yep. Um, this one's not. This is mine. Um, however, they are available, and I'm not trying to make money for anyone else, but they are available at outlet in this color at the moment. So it might be worth a look if you're interested in this shape or bag, or you're looking to purchase one um, secondhand. Maybe actually look in the outlet first because you might be able to get a similar deal for a new bag. Yeah, for a new bag. And it's always nice to have a new bag. They are doing virtual shopping over at Mulberry at the moment. Once again, I do not work for them. Um, I just know these things, and I just passing on the facts to you um and they have to be quite frank they have a good bunch there also uh if you're looking at the shirt to mallet branch which is the closest one to us they're very nice re highly recommend um anyone there really um uh, cheshire oaks and york have slightly different stock and they're probably as easy to get in contact with as the uh shirt to mallet one Bister is a lot busier. They get a better stock in terms of how much stock they get. However, they are much busier and the, you're going to be waiting a bit more. Yep. So if you just be really smart, phone Chet to Mallet, phone York, phone whatever, ask for whatever bag you want if you're interested in a bag and they can have they can have stock moved from anywhere. They can so also tell you, when, not, not, not for price, or at least I don't think they, they don't think they can, they couldn't then, maybe now, but for, for um, in outlets, if you call Shepton Mallet, they could tell you if Bista had that or yes. vice versa. So if you can't get a call from Bista, call Shepton and ask them they, what they have in Bista. Yeah, and they can either get it to you from yeah. Bista or they, then you know it's worth a call to Bista and you've got that weight, but you know that they've got a stock of like 10 or whatever. Um, but yes, that is the Mulberry Layton. If you enjoyed it and you're into Mulberry handbags and you're just watching for fun, um, then we have over, I mean, probably over, over 100 videos now. Over 100 videos, but probably over 40 Mulberry videos if I you're say, interested. Yeah. Um, we talk about Mulberry a lot because we previously worked there and we are in Chetamallet, Mallet, which is where Bul Mulberry was birthed. We're also going to do a uh, a kind of a video uh, based on being staff there. Yes. Uh, really staff discounts, um, kind of what package you get, how it was working with the company, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you'd like to see that, comment what you'd like to see about and in that video, correct? Yes. And if anyone's really interested, we will do a separate one on staff sales because I know people find navigating buying staff sales very difficult and don't know really know what to look for. They basically just go on the word of mouth of other people. And obviously that would be the word of mouth for me. But I've actually experienced, we've actually experienced working for the company and we know how it works. And can you give so, the facts as opposed yes. to maybe hearsay or something you've heard on the web? Yeah, they just go through. A lot of um, people, I see a lot of staff members that previously worked for Mulberry or worked for Mulberry commenting on like things like this. Yeah. But it, it depends which, like, if you work at a factory, if you work at a distribution centre, if you work in a shop, it's all different. It's all different for everyone. And I think sometimes we all get stuck in our little bubbles. Like, we of work course. here, this is how it happens. This didn't happen, yeah. Because um, we also heard that many stores actually didn't get staff sales in the same respect we did because we were so close to the factories and because we were yeah. part of the factory store. Staff sales is very different to discounts, by the way. That's yeah, well, that's the video about. itself, as we say. Yes. So this is the Mulberry Layton um, from Johnny Coker um, at... Mulberry. Um, once again, if you're interested in any other Mulberry videos, then please go and visit our page. Um, or if you're interested in seeing the shop, do click the links down below where we have a lot of Mulberry for sale.